Hey, are you tired of hearing like a mouse squeak anytime you're playing your saxophone? Or you're not just getting that right tone, that right sound which you should anytime you play? Then this video is for you. Stick around to the end as I'll be talking about the two main things that are probably not giving you that right sound. So the first main cause I'm going to be addressing is coupling your mouthpiece wrongly. So here is my mouthpiece. This is my reed. This is a Rico 2.5 reed and this is my ligature. This is my ligature. So I'm going to be showing you how to couple your mouthpiece in the right way. So first of all, you want to take out your reed from the case and place it on the mouthpiece. Place it on the mouthpiece, then you fit the ligature on the mouthpiece. Now, the way you put the ligature, either you put it facing the front or the back, is totally up to you. I prefer to place mine at the back and there's a reason for this I'll talk about that later okay so you place it on the mouthpiece now don't just tighten the ligature yet you want to use your finger okay I'm using my thumb and my middle finger to correctly feel the reed what you want to do is you want to make sure that the reed is not too much to the left and it's not too much to the right you want to make sure it's in the middle so you place your thumb and your middle finger on the two sides of the mouthpiece and you just try to feel if it is too much to one side you will feel it and you adjust it then once that is okay you place your index finger or your forefinger just above the mouthpiece so now what are you doing? You want your reed to just be a little bit lower than the mouthpiece. You want it to be slightly lower than the mouthpiece. Now, once you have done that, not too low, just slightly. That's why you use your finger to feel it. So once you have done that, you tighten the ligature. Tighten the ligature, you make sure that it is tight and it won't get loose then you can blow in through the mouthpiece and once you get that sharp sound you know that you have placed it well so you would get something like this okay i'm going to be talking about the second cause of a bad sound or a squeaky sound so you want to make sure that your reed is soaked is wet before you play okay why do you need to do that the saxophone is a woodwind instrument basically it produces sound by the vibration of this reed okay yes we blow air into it yes but the vibration of this reed plays a very big role in the production of your sound and the type of your sound because sound on its own is produced by vibrations vibrations through our vocal cords produces sound so it is for the saxophone so when the reed is dry like mine right now is dry when the reed is dry it won't produce as much vibrations as it would when it is soaked when it is wet so you want to make sure that you can soak it that you soak your reed for about five minutes five minutes highest but don't soak your reed for too long why because if you soak your reed for too long let's say one hour or so and you keep doing it you will figure out that your weed your reed would start to warp what do i mean it's like a wood defect because if your reed is made of wood although they are synthetic reeds they are plastic reeds but if your reed is made of wood it would start to have defects it will start to warp it won't be straight it will warp i'm going to show you how it looks like so it will warp just like this and you want to make sure you soak it or if you are like going for a concert and you don't have time so how do you make your reed wet 
you just take your reed and place it on your tongue like this then you could as you go you could switch to the other side because you don't have in you don't have the time to put it inside water so as you are preparing to go for your concert get on the bus or the, on the car or whatever it could be getting wet and soaked and by the time you want to couple it it would be wet enough to produce good vibrations for you so that is the second thing i want to talk about now i was talking about how to place your ligature either you place it to the facing the front or facing the back so when your reed is wet that is it has water on it so when you place your ligature facing the front let me demonstrate when you place it facing the front something something like this that is facing the front so because the reed is wet there's water on it and your ligature is metal so it would rust it would make these screws rust and when the screws rust to an extent they will break and you will need to get a new ligature so when your reed is wet you turn it it's better to turn your liga your ligature to the back so it will look something like this and this is also more fancy for me i prefer this to the other way so that's why so i hope you find this helpful so you can take this this will be really helpful for you if you've been getting that squeaky sound and you're like what the heck and you just want to break the saxophone at times so coupling your mouthpiece well placing this well it might take about one to two minutes so you have to just make sure you do it right the the weight is worth it because you would always love that sound but when you're not getting that sound when your, your sound is so messed up and you're like oh you just want to break the saxophone no so you need to take out your time don't don't rush for anything it's just like tuning your guitar so that's how we couple our mouthpiece on the saxophone so if you want to see more videos like this stay tuned click on the like button